hey guys welcome to my channel today's video is going to be how to make money as a teenager as we all know it can be kind of complicated kind of hard trying to find a job being a teenager and stuff so i put together a little list of things that you can do to make some money when i think about you i think about giving myself to you because you know what you and i will do anything the first thing you can do is start selling lip gloss, lashes, bundles, clothes. You can sell, you can buy this stuff from a vendor, brand it as your own and sell it for much more. You can clean the interior of cars so you can be a detailer. If you're good at cleaning, you know how to do it. You can clean a car, especially like a car. Who doesn't need their car detail? You know, with all these little nasty germs going around right now, people would probably really pay for you to clean the inside and outside of their cars very, very well walk dogs if you know people in your neighborhood or just know people in general that need dogs to be walked they don't want to do it they're not available to do it or whatever you can be like look i walk your dogs for 20 dollars like look for the week you know you can really make some money you, if you know how to do nails do some nails especially right now a lot of these females people a lot of people just can't get to the nail salon so if you know how to do nails and stuff you can be like look i'll come to your crib and do your nails i mean wear your mask but you can make some money watching kids right now with the pandemic a lot of parents are still in work and they need someone to watch their kids you can set up like a little learning day you y'all can do school work you can do like you playing outside for a little bit you could teach them new things watch some movies play some games you can really make some money and have fun at the same time selling hair products so if you know the secret formula to make your hair grow why don't you bottle it up and sell it like you can really make money especially people already know like hmm that person's hair always looks good like you know let me let me get in on it tutor if you like this is something that i did in my life a lot to make me money i was a tutor i'm really good in school all around except for history but i'm really good at especially math and science I can teach lower level so I was able to teach like more than five kids certain things like how to do this and I made some nice money throughout my lifetime doing it selling skin products so if you know how to keep your skin super smooth and acne free you can sell that product and make some money off of it doing hair or doing makeup these are also in addition to nails these is nice little hustles people are always going to need these things done hair nails and makeup especially together so if you can do all three and offer a service for all three you are like girl selling phone cases or airpod cases people always want their stuff to look cute so you know you can sell the little airpod cases with the pom-poms on it the phones with the designer bags you can really make some money i did this in school and i made money do school work for money i also did this i did people's school work for money now it's a difference between tutoring someone and doing someone's school work for money people that are just lost causes they're seniors they're lost causes like you can't help them at this point. They might be like, look, I need all this work done. I ain't doing it and I don't want to fail. Can you do it? And you'd be like, yeah, sure, pay me. But make sure that you're going to get your money. You don't, you don't want to just be doing work and not want to get your money. So make sure that you get your money. You can edit people's videos. So if you're really good at video editing, you can be like, look, I'll edit your videos. If you pay me, you know, you can make some money that way. If you make money bets with your parents, your grandparents, your cousins, your friends, I did this a lot too. I would be like mom and dad at the end of the year, if I got straight A's all year round, um, if I got straight A's all year round, you know, give me some money at the end of the year and they would actually do it. And it's a nice way to make money, but you really do have to make sure that the thing that you are betting on, you can actually accomplish. Um, making digital drawings and digital digital things like digital art any type of way shape or form you can sell it now i see this on my instagram all the time cartoons intros um graphics and stuff like that collages you can sell them and make money off of that a youtube channel and let me just tell y'all right before y'all go ahead and create a youtube channel the money does not just come instantly like you don't just get a thousand views and then boom you got six trillion dollars like, that's not how it works you have to be consistent you have to be able to put the time in and you have to just keep posting and i'm telling you eventually you'll make money 
host instructional classes. So if you can do certain things, for instance, if you know how to braid hair or do lashes, you can be like, look, y'all three ladies can come to my house. Y'all pay me $200 a class each and I'll show you guys how to do lashes on each other or how to do hair on each other, how to do hair on mannequins and stuff like that. This is one way to really make money, teaching a skill. People are, well, usually most of the time, people are always open to learn a skill that could potentially make them money. So, I mean, if it's making you money and you're good at it, you can teach someone else how to make money and be good at it. Um, selling your old clothes or shoes. I mean, like, look, you're going through your closet and you're like, hmm, this shit is Like, anyone want to buy this garbage? Garbage to you, but it could be still nice quality clothes that spark someone else's interest. And instead of you throwing it out or donating it or just keeping it and you're never going to wear it, you can make money off of something that you already paid for. Selling food or desserts, like if you know how to make platters or Alfredo, um, if you know how to make peach cobbler, brownies, cookies, stuff like that, you can make money. You can do deliveries and or pickups and you can make some money. Be a photographer or a photo editor. I mean, like, if you're really good and taking people's pictures, you can take the pictures and edit them. You can make albums and stuff like that. You can really make something of yourself. Like, especially if you're at events and stuff, you just naturally take pictures. And you people are always like, you get the best pictures. You can be like, well, look, I can do a shoot for you. You could set up a little shoot in your house, in the basement, in the spare room. And have people come take actual pictures there it can and you can really make nice money cleaning people's yards and gardening people love to have their house look attractive so if you know how to plant you know how to clean it right and you're you have a like a you have a what is it called a green thumb i think it's called a green thumb you can really make money off of that too walking around your neighborhood like look i can plant if you guys pay me you know you can make sure that they have a nice looking yard Selling antique pieces. So if you go on Poshmark or something like that and you like, mm -hmm. that's really old and I bet someone would pay double for that. You can buy it for that cheap price that is probably going to be on there and you can sell it on your Instagram boutique or your um, Etsy or something and make a profit sell drawings and i mean actual handheld drawings if you know how to sketch you know how to draw you can sell drawings and another way that i can see this going both ways is if you can really draw and you know someone that can do tattoos but can't really draw draw you can sell them your artwork and make money it doesn't hurt to just ask like look i see you do tattoos how about i draw you a couple things and you can like you know trace over it on your tattoo paper or whatever and go from there you can make jewelry and sell it. My little cousin made me these bracelets and like that's her little hustle. That's how she make her coins. Um, making clothes. If you know how to do like printing on clothes, painting on clothes and stuff like that. Sewing prom dresses, sewing stuff in general. You can make things and make a profit off of it. Teaching people to drive. So this kind of goes for high schoolers. In high school at around 11th and 12th grade is when people turn 16 and 17 and even 18 and they want to learn how to drive. But driver's ed can be expensive in some cases for some people. So if you can be like, look, I'll teach you how to drive. You can agree upon an amount and then there you go. Boom, you're making money and boom, that person is learning how to drive. Revamp people's things. So we all have something that like, you know, we paid a nice amount of money for it, but we, you just don't see yourself buying another one. Like shoes, this type of shoe. If you know how to paint on a shoe, fix it, clean it up real good, you can start like a, a bringing back to life business of items. You can clean items really well and, and make money off of it. Learning to buy and sell cars. So if you can go to the auction and buy a car, I think you might need a license for this. I don't know. Do your research before. Don't quote me on any of this. Do your research. But you can go to the auction if your parents, especially if your parents are going to support you, you can go to the auction and buy a car for like $1,000, maybe less, fix it up, get it all ready, and then sell it for $10,000 or $5,000 or something like that and make several thousand dollar profit. So yes, this does take money to be put in first, but you're going to get more out of it. Forex trading. So if you're not against learning a new skill or something like that, you can do Forex trading. It does take some time to learn. I mean, I've tried to learn. It's just not nothing that I see myself really getting into. I think I really do need someone to sit down and teach me how to really do it. Then I believe that I could actually do it. 
but if you're open to know, learning a new skill you already know someone is doing you you can be like like hey can you teach me and you can make some money or if you don't have anyone that you know personally you can look up a youtube video or something and find out how to do it what it's about if you're interested find some classes or whatever and those are all the ways that i think are good ways that you can make money as a teen if you guys really like this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in my next video bye